Welcome, Annie Collins here for Buddhist Monroe. Today we're going to create a strawberry theme card. Let's go to the products I used to create our card. We have some chroma glaze, a stamp set, and a stencil to work with today. So first let me go over the stencil. This is our new stencil and it's called Strawberry Seeds. It's, it's so cute. Uh, you can have them as seeds. It also can work as raindrops. And it's, um, this is a 6x6 six six stencil. And here it is. I think, you know, it could work either way. Today I'm going to use it this way, but you can use it either which way you like. Okay. We're also going to be using Strawberry Social the strawberry social stamp set. This is a 25 piece set. You have a variety of strawberries, some foliage, a vine, st some strawberries on a vine. I build your own strawberries, which have two different caps. You have a variety of seeds. You can also uh, add other things. We have a bowl of strawberries and cream, a small strawberry, a strawberry stack cake, and then you have chocolate dip and whipped cream for your strawberry. Today I'm going to use the uh, strawberries and cream in the bowl. This also comes with four sentiments. Um, I'm going to use have a del delicious, hope your day is simply delicious. That's what I'll be using that sentiment. All right. With our stencil, we're going to add a variety of chroma glaze and glitter glaze. For our background, I'm going to use a little bit of chroma glaze in coral and then chroma glaze in red. And then to use with our stencil, I'll be using glitter glaze in galaxy because i want my seeds to be to appear black now galaxy is more like a see-through and you leave the, the the glitter behind and that's what i want i want it to just be there all right so now that we know what the items we'll be using let's go over the cardstock i have a card base from not, not your mama's cardstock for layering i'm going to bring in some raven cardstock and this is all uh, a two size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. I have another piece of Not Your Mama's cardstock. It's also four and a quarter by five and a half, but I will be trimming it down to four by five and a quarter. I have a die cut piece of Perfect Blend cardstock. This is where I'll be stamping my image of our berries and cream in the bowl. And I have a little scrap that I didn't show you for our sentiment. I'll be coloring my image with some Copic markers. I will have those listed. I don't show the coloring because I'm a really slow colorer. Okay, so we'll be working with our sticky, our stick and stamp mat. So let's jump into it. So I put down our panel of Not Your Mama's cardstock and I stick it onto our stick and stamp mat. I'm going to just apply our chroma glaze in the coral and the red first. I want to create a re, a gradient effect so from light to dark I'm going to tell you now I should have put my dark first and then work my lighter in but this is how I did it and I managed to make it work what I'm trying to create is the background of a strawberry if you look at a strawberry underneath this green cap it's like a lighter pink sometimes if it's not ripe enough you'll see a little bit of yellow or white and then you have the pink and then you have your deep berry color or strawberry reddish color this is what I'm trying to create but um, it gets a little messy here but I managed to work it out once I get all the I apply the coral first and then I try to blend it out and then I put the red and I try to blend it and I just basically end up removing most of my coral which is fine because some of it streaked into my red and that's what I was hoping to get anyway so now I'm going to go back in with the coral and I'm going to refix my little top of my strawberry. So I'm going to apply some coral and blend it into the uh, red chroma glaze. And I'll do this a few times just so I get it how I want. Remembering not to apply it too thick because then it takes forever to dry. So I uh, apply it and then make sure it's a nice thin coat. Once I have it how I want it, finally, I can remove it from my uh, mat. I'm just blending out this last little piece right here. Okay, so now I'm going to remove a little bit of this excess so I have somewhere to bend our mat. So you bend your mat and your 
your paper will come off. So my cardstock came off. I'm going to set this off to dry. I'm going to clean my mat because we don't want any of this stuck on here forever. And you, to clean your mat, you just clean, wipe off any of the excess. I use my craft knife for that. And then I spray it with the stick and stamp mat cleaner and clean it with a paper towel. That's it. Then you set it aside to dry and it will become sticky again once the dampness is gone. All right, so I'm bringing in my Misty. This is my regular size Misty. And the sentiment I'm going to be using as well as the image. I'm going to remove all the innards here of my Misty, leaving only the black mat. And I'm going to bring in my other stick and stamp mat. I have one that I keep cleaned or cleaner for <laughs> stamping only. So I'm going to place that into my Misty. I'm, I use this mostly when I'm going to stamp on smaller pieces of cardstock or uh, pattern paper or whatever it may be. All right, so I'm going to place my um, perfect blend on in there in the corner. And then I'm going to place my image right on top, which has the strawberries in the bowl with some cream. I want my sentiment to be about here. All right, so once I have that there, I'm going to pick up my image. I'm going to use my <clears throat> Raven Detail ink to stamp my image. Now, I have the magnets on there. All the magnets are doing is holding down my mat. They're not holding down my paper, as you can see, and my paper is going nowhere because the stick and stamp mat is adhe has adhesive on it. It's sticky. It's not really adhesive. I'm not sure what's on it, but it's sticky. And it's sort of like a post-it note. Sticky. Um, and it will hold my paper. All right, so our image is all stamped. And then I realized my sentiment is going to go into too much of my image. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment on an extra piece of, of uh, Perfect Blend paper that I have, which is where I cut down the, uh, the piece that I wanted for my image. And I'm going to just go ahead and stamp that again with the Raven Detail ink. I'm going to stamp it right in the middle in case I want to use a die to cut it down or if I just want to cut it. And since my paper isn't so straight, this is the best way to do it. All right, so I'm going to stamp it twice because I these are nice, thick, solid letters, and I want to make sure my image is nice and crisp. Once I have that, I can remove my mat from my Misty. I'll put everything on here back, like the magnets and such, and I'll clean my stamps in a moment. Now I can gently remove my images by curling my mat, and then I can color these. I will color the image, like I said, off screen, to save you the hurry up and color that woman moment. Okay, so I'm going to come back and here we are. Our chroma glaze background is all dry and we're going to place our place it back on our stick and stamp mat, place our, our stencil back on and now we're going to work the galaxy glaze through our stencil. So again this galaxy this is glitter glaze in galaxy, it's not galaxy glaze. This is glitter glaze in the color galaxy. And it's black, but it has iridescence to it, so it's really pretty. And I'm going to work this through. Once I have it to how I want it, I'll remove the stencil. And you can see all the little seeds are now there. And then we're going to clean off any of the extra. And there it is. So I'll clean my mat off screen so you don't have to watch me clean it again but always replace that little plastic cover that comes in all your glazes um, glitter chrome velveteen replace it it keeps them nice and wet so here's my image all colored and my sentiment and now our panels all dry so we can start building our card so here's our panel all dry with our little seeds i know it's hard to see here because it's kind of a little bit further away and the camera and everything you know the lights get a little strong but it is really pretty all right so we're going to go ahead and add some barely art glue to this and i go a little heavy because this is thick cardstock and then i have that glaze on there and it has a little bit of warping not a lot which is great and i'm going to go ahead and adhere that to our raven cardstock now i have trimmed down again i'll repeat that i've trimmed down the chroma glaze panel down 
a quarter of an inch, so it's now four by five and a half. It was four and a quarter by five and a half. By five and a, so I trimmed it down to four by five, five, five and a quarter. I'm sorry. Math today. I'm not sure what's happening. All right, so I have it all on our base. So I adhere that to I adhered it to our base, and now I'm going to adhere our image. So I have a uh, craft foam in the background because I wanted to adhere, have it even. So I just use a piece of craft foam in the background to adhere it. All right, so I, I adhere that straight to the center. I adhere my sentiment just off to the right. They're overlapping. I'm sorry you hear thunder in the background. It's about to storm here really bad. And I'm going to use some gems. These are flat black gems. They're red and they're from Buttons Galore. Uh, buttons and more. Okay, yeah, I'll have it listed below. <laughs> um, I'm going to place three near the sentiment and then one on our little bow here and one beneath it so that it's nice and even and our card is complete. We have the beautiful layers here. We have the chroma glaze background, our seeds from the glitter glaze, our little bow with the berries and cream. Everything is looking how I would like. All right, so we used today our Strawberry Social stamp set, our stencil, which is called Strawberry Seeds, chroma glaze in coral, in red, in glitter glaze, in galaxy, to create our card. I will have, oh, and of course, our Raven Detail Ink to stamp our image, as well as our sentiment. I will have everything with links to all the Bruce Monroe products in the description box below for easy shopping. Thank you for being here, and I hope you found some inspiration. Thank <laughs> you.